remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NGN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. Political analysts and observers of trends in Edo State have called on the winner of the September 21st gubernatorial elections, Senator Mondo Pevolo of the All Progressives Congress to eschew all forms of political vendetta, unite the people and focus on moving the state out of the trough of underdevelopment and backwardness. This is coming as Senator Pevolo and his deputy, Honorable Dennis Idahosa, prepare to take over the reins of power in the state from the outgoing PDP-led government come November 12, 2024. On November 12, Monday Okpeolo will be sworn in as governor of Edo State, having won the Edo September 21st election and issued a certificate of return by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. While this victory marks a milestone for Okweolo and the All Progressives Congress, the real test will be how he translates his campaign promises into meaningful progress for the state. His success in doing so will show whether the choice made by the people of Edo was truly a wise one. For many watchers of events in the state, the success of Senator Monde Okbeolo's administration will rest on his ability to navigate the state's intricate PDP-dominated legislative arm and indeed the political landscape, which went through a major shake-off just before the elections. The problem we have in a lot of states are mostly in the LIDAR Delta. A lot of people, governors, when they go take over, they stop all other programs for the other person project that we are beneficial to the people. They like to bring their own projects. And abundant, and that is setting back the development of uh, the Niger Delta. Opportunities should be given to people that are qualified. Godfatherism, which takes you to the politics of clientelism, should be eliminated. It do first before others. In Nigeria, it has almost become a tradition that when an opposition party takes over, much of its time and energy goes into a cycle of blame games and conflicts that often slow down governance and development. Political analysts warn that given the widening development gap in Edo State, the new APC administration should better avoid this trap and instead focus on revitalizing the state economy through strong investment in agriculture, transport, tourism and more. We used to have a do line those days. I think he needs to rebrand and rebuild and reinvest in a do line. This time they could get private entities to support that. Edo was part of uh, the welfare, the welfare and government of Abuolo. You know, so I want to look at it if it could go into that. Such framework is good to take the youths out of criminality and make them become useful investors and private uh, entrepreneurs. In addition, there are lingering tensions from the outgoing Godwin Obaseki administration that the new team will need to address for the sake of peace and stability. These include the enforcement of the traditional rulers and chiefs edict of 1979, which has put the state government at odds with the Benin traditional council. Above all, Okpeolo, who will be the 11th leader of Edo State since its creation in 1991, must prioritize the welfare and well-being of the Edo people above any political interests. Inside the Niger Delta.